Breaking news, guys. President Bola Metunobu of Nigeria, Honda Fraya, as Niger Republic, Mali, and Burkina Faso quit ECOWAS. Not be small thing they don't they tell them. Not be small name they don't they call them. They say it, it just became the ECOWA president. He scatter everything based on the sanction when we say he carry put on a Niger Republic after you know the deposed the democratically elected president of Niger. Waiting they happen now, President Bola Metin will not get peace. Maybe we even hear waiting people don't they talk. President Bola Metunubu of Nigeria, who doubles as the chairman of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, he is currently under after the mili is currently under attack after the military regimes in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger announced on Sunday their immediate withdrawal from the West African bloc. Mr. Tunubu's critics who claim he has succeeded in breaking up ECOWAS, cited his sanctions on the military governed countries and his threat to invade Niger last year as a reason for the recent development. David Ondai, an investigative journalist, said, History will remember that it was one man in Abuja who was single-handedly responsible for breaking up ECOWAS. One of the few things we have even managed to get somewhat right in West Africa. History will remember those of us who tried to stop this, this from happening. Let it be on record that a withdrawal from ECOWAS is a vote of no confidence on Nigeria, the predominant power in ECOWAS, and its leader, who is the current ECOWAS chair. He took West Africa 49 years to build ECOWAS. He took a drug dealer just eight months to destroy it. The leaders of the three Shea nations issued a statement saying it was a sovereign decision to leave the economic community of West Africa state with, without delay struggling with the jihadist violence and poverty the regimes have had tense ties with ECOWAS since coups took place in niger last july burkina faso in 2022 and mali in 2020 all three were suspended from ECOWAS, with niger and mali facing heavy sanctions they have hardened their positions in recent months and joined forces in an alliance of, of Shehe states. A French military withdrawal from the Shehe, the region along the Sahara Desert across Africa, has heightened concerns over the conflict spreading uh, south world to Gulf of Guinea state, Ghana, Togo, Benin, and Ivory Coast. The prime minister appointed by Niger's military regime on Thursday blasted ECOWAS for bad faith after the bloc largely shunned a planned meeting in Niami. Niger had hoped for an opportunity to talk through differences with fellow state of ECOWAS, which has cold shouldered imposing heavy uh, economy, economy and uh, financial sanctions following the military coup that overthrew elected president, okay, Mohamed Bazoum. Meanwhile, the former PD, PDP presidential candidate at, for 2023 presidency, Atiku Abubakar, has reacted in the last, okay, please pardon me, Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the last elections, has reacted to the withdrawal of Niger, Mali, and the Burkina Faso from the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS. 
Atiku Abubakar said the withdrawal of the three countries from ECOWAS is concerning and a matter of serious diplomatic meltdown. The former vice president said Nigeria must keep its national security interests in mind as it relates to terrorism and banditry while appraising the situation. Reports about the withdrawal of three countries from our sub a, a regional body, Atiku Abubakar wrote, it is a matter of serious diplomatic meltdown. We must keep the country's national security interests, especially the fight against terrorism, the banditry, the kidnapping, and others, in focus Why we appraise the situation. They criticize ECOWAS over the sanctions imposed on them as part of efforts to revise the coup in their country, Nigerians. This is what democracy cost government of looters. Let them go after all their problems. Nigerian economy, everything. As bad as practicing democracy, it is far better than Kakizo and initiates the khaki boys seem to bring forth hope, but inherited flaws that comes with military government will resurface. The youthfulness and power drunk is my fear for those countries. It's established that Russia is using those countries to get into France, believing as means to reducing her economic strength. Okay, these are some reactions from Nigerians. Let's hear from you guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.